Treatment for root canals is a routine procedure in dentistry that can be used to treat a tooth that is decayed, infected, or damaged. Though it can sound scary, however, it's in reality a straightforward and successful procedure to save your natural tooth without the need to extract it. How exactly can the procedure of root canals aid in saving your teeth? In this short video, we'll guide you through the process step-by-step -step of root canal treatments and describe how it could assist you in maintaining your good-looking smile. Step 1. Diagnosis The first step to root canal therapy is to pinpoint what is wrong that is affecting the tooth. Some of the signs that could be a sign of a need for root canal may include extreme tooth pain, sensitivity temperature extremes, or a tenderness or swelling of the gums as well as a darker shade of the teeth. Your dentist will carry out the thorough exam and perform x-rays to evaluate how severe the injury or infection. Step 2. Anesthesia When the correct diagnosis has been completed, the next stage is to reduce the pain of the tooth by local anesthesia. It is to make sure that you're relaxed and comfortable through the process. Additionally, your dentist will place in a dam of rubber around your tooth to keep it clean and clean of saliva throughout the procedure. Step 3. Accessing the pulp once the tooth is completely blocked and numb, your dentist will then drill through a tiny hole on the upper part of the tooth, allowing access to the pulp chamber. The pulp is a soft tissue in the tooth, which is home to blood vessels, nerves, as well as connective tissues. When the pulp is damaged or infected, it must be eliminated in order to stop further decay or infected. Step 4. Cleaning and Shaping the Root Canals when the pulp has been extracted and the tooth is cleaned, your dentist will employ specially designed instruments to clean and form the canals. It involves taking out the tissues, bacteria, and obstructions from the channels to ensure that the infection is gone. The canals then are shaped so that they can be filled. Step 5. Filling the canals when the roots were cleaned and then shaped after which they're covered with a biocompatible, non-toxic material known as gutta percha. This substance seals the canals and prevents bacteria from returning and causing another inflammation. The tooth then is covered with a temporary filling in order to keep it safe until a permanent one will be put in place. Step 6. Restoring the tooth. The final stage of the treatment of a root canal is to repair the tooth using the permanent fillings or crown. It is used to help make the tooth stronger and improve its functionality and appearance. In some instances, it is advised to give an additional level of protection and support for the tooth. The root canal procedure is an extremely effective means to preserve a tooth which is decayed or infected. Following these procedures, dental professionals can remove any infection, save the tooth's natural appearance, as well as avoid the need to extract the tooth. If you're suffering from teeth pain or other indications that could suggest the necessity of the procedure, do not delay in contacting your dentist for an examination. A root canal treatment could assist you in maintaining your good dental health and prevent more lengthy treatment for your teeth in the future.